Hello guys from my street, Joko Pelle. Welcome back to my channel. Come closer, please. Zatar day, how to make this uh, fabulous pizza with uh, Zatar. I mean, take a look, the cross is nice, fluffy, crunchy in the same time. But the most important thing is uh, that you can make this pizza at home really easy from scratch because today I'm going to show you how to make the dough for this type of pizza. Look how much air is inside. It's lovely, perfect to make this pizza at home or for business. A special customer asked for this pizza. So I got this journey just for you. Watch until the end, smash the like and subscribe. And uh, I'm super excited to make this uh, lovely recipe because it's so easy, super fast, super easy and super fast to do. So like always, use uh, the Polish. The recipe is gonna be somewhere here. I don't know where you're gonna put it. So guys, first of all, let's add 250 milliliters of water. Let's put the Polish, all the Polish. Let's melt everything. Once it's uh, melted, let's go ahead and let's add uh, 10 grams of salt. Let's melt the salt. Now let's go ahead and let's add uh, the flour little by little. This is 475 grams of zero zero flour. Mix everything until it's all uh, like uh, together. When the flour and the water and the polish, everything is absorbed. So work this with uh, just the spoon. Once it's everything uh, together like this, let's go ahead and let's put the dough on top of the counter. So you put it up and down, up and down. Work this for about uh, two, three minutes. So once it's everything together, see what I'm doing, I'm working like that. Did you see how it is? Super sticky. The goal here is this, wash your hands, very important to wash your hands. Little bit of uh, olive oil, just lightly, not too much. Tap, 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 tap on top of the dough. Use the bowl, let it rest for about uh, exactly five minutes on the clock. The time to wash dishes. The dishes are washed. Let's go ahead and show you, like this. So watch the magic happen now. So tap, 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 this way you get the olive oil on your hands. Use a spatula. Go like a circle movement. Once it's detached, watch. Look at the magic. From uh, being uh, all ugly, doing this movement. Always keep this part on top. I'm doing like a balloon. Voila! Now we build the gluten. Little bit of uh, olive oil on top. Cover the dough with uh, olive oil. Same thing. Go ahead and close it. Voila! Now we let it rest for 30 minutes to one hour at room temperature and then we are ready to make the balls. So I'll see you in a little bit. And uh, voila, one hour is passed by. Take a look at this. You're gonna find the dough double the size for sure. It's gonna be hard. Wow, did you see that? The dough double up the side. So now let's go ahead and let's make the balls. Again, oil in your hands. So let's go ahead and let's cut the dough like that. So remember, when you make the boss, you want to use always this part. And that's how you make the boss. It's full of air. Wow. There we go. Put it inside, put it inside, and then you cut like the cheese. Never pull, cut. The dough boss needs to be about 280 grams each. At this point, we are going to let it rest for about one hour to two hours at room temperature. When you see they're gonna get attached, the dough is ready. So now, let's go ahead, let's wrap everything up, come with me, and then I'll show you this special pizza in a special place. Let's go! Voila, this is the day after and this is the beautiful setup of today. So the first thing to do here is we're gonna move on because at two o'clock the party starts. First thing to do is light up the oven. If you have a pizza oven in your house, look at this. I put a little bit of wood inside already. Go ahead, light up this thing here. There we go. And then I place the wood. It's warming up right now. So I wanna show you, look at this, after just three minutes, look at the flame. See? So we put the door lightly closed and this, we're gonna wait about one hour, I guess in temperature, if you, if you fire up the oven 
from uh, nothing it takes about two to three hours this is what you need you need olive oil a good one shredded mozzarella simple a little bit of parmesan cheese and the special ingredients the za'atar directly from israel guys you know what i say it takes it take two months to get this uh, this ingredient directly from israel to usa insane so this is how we prepare the secret ingredients we put za'atar inside the bowl it's very easy grab olive oil and it's pour some uh, olive oil inside the, the za'atar so it's kind of a, like a pesto. That's the texture that we want. See? There we go. Now it's ready. So let's go ahead and let's, let me show you how the pizza dough that we made, how it looks like. But before making the pizza, let's go ahead and let's set up the pizza oven because the oven is right now is at 550. We can make pizza at 600. So let's go ahead, let's put the, all the wood on the side and let's clean up the bottom and the oven, it's ready. Look at this. That's why you clean the oven with the wet towel. Up here. Okay, here we go. This is how the dough looks like after two hours at room temperature. Now let's go ahead and let's get the flour, 50 flour and 50 semolina. Mix everything up. And now it's finally moment to make the pizza. Good. First ball in the flour upside down and second ball because you need two balls to make this pizza so this is how you stretch everything so press the cross not the center okay then once you press everything the cross you tap 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 on top upside down because the, we want the sticky part on top and then don't put too much flour so and then you press and then you pull press and pull see sticky we want the to be sticky so let's go ahead and let's pack this on the side and then we do the same thing on the bottom side once we have the bottom part bigger than the top part let's go ahead, let's put the cheese just like that leave the side across a little bit more then we put some parmesan cheese now we get this uh, top part and we place it on top just like that make sure the bottom part is bigger I'm gonna show you why Tap, 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 we want to close it like a, a calzone, but the most important thing is this. We want to go ahead and place this on top, just like that, the cross. We want to make a nice, good looking, because it's special, you know what I mean? And it's very easy, uh, you can make this also at home, because uh, actually we're going to cook it at 600 or 550. We want to make this pizza nice and crunchy. So once you close all the sides, get a little bit of flour and get the flour under. This way it gets detached. Now put a little bit of flour on the floor right here and then move the pizza on the side. This way you make sure it's not sticky. We make the pizza a little bit bigger and now at this point break it. Otherwise if you don't break it like that the pizza is gonna come out like a balloon. So at this point is uh, when we put a little bit of uh, za'atar inside the pizza. Just like that. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Now or with your spoon or with your hands, which I prefer with your hands because you can control. You go ahead and spread the, the za'atar everywhere. Once it's like this, go ahead with the spatula and go under the cheese to make sure it's not sticky. So once we know that it's not sticky, let's get the peel, put it on top of the peel, we fix to make it big as the peel, about 12 inches. Let's go ahead and let's cook it and the oven needs to be no flame, really low, we have it right now at 550. It's gonna take to cook about five minutes or so and then I show you the texture. I'm looking to have a nice texture of pizza. Look at this. It's gonna be nice and crunchy but without burning this. It's super easy to make it at home because you just put it in and take it out after four to seven minutes. Three, two, one and the pizza, boom, it looks lovely ready. Look at this. It's nice and smoky. See the smoke that is coming out? So let it sit, let it sit there for about, uh, I want to say, two minutes. 
just the time to cool down the za'atar and the olive oil. This way we get a nice texture. And then I'm going to show you. Look how crunchy it is. Crunchy, fantastic. Okay, it's time to cut this pizza and see this, this uh, inside. Let's go ahead, let's cut it like that, gently. So we're gonna cut this pizza in six. Here we go. Voila. Let's take a look the inside of this PC. Look at this. It's beautiful, it's melted, it's nice, full of air. And now it's just time to taste it. Ooh, it's soft. Let it cool down a little bit more because this pizza is also good when it's cold. The best time is the tasting. I mean, take a look the crust of this pizza, how it come out. Come closer, come closer. They wanna see, they're gonna see. Look at this. That's uh, soft and crunchy in the same time. Can't wait. Let's taste it and let's finish up this video. Let's go. Wow. Outstanding. Outstanding texture. It's insane. The, the flavor. Wow. Try this at home. I'll see you next week.